it all started with a, a marketing person named Larry. And Larry had the desire to, instead of printing brochures and stuff that he would give the salespeople that were obsolete about 30 seconds after they hit the press, uh, he thought there'd be a better way that he could get sales materials, uh, sales brochures, data sheets, tire information, other things about tires in the hands of the salespeople when they're interacting with the customers, specifically truck tires. And he went out and hired an agency to do this. And we started having initial meetings with them because we have all the data at Goodyear. The one thing we, the web ops team at Goodyear does especially well is we understand where the data resides and how we serve it up and effectively to whomever needs it. Mm -hmm. And it fairly quickly became apparent that these folks had no idea what they were doing. Um, and we're like, hey, you know what? Let's take a stab at this. We arrogantly said. <laughs> so here we are, two years later, having made many, many, many mistakes. But we're getting pretty good at it. Uh, and the initial app was done for commercial tire, and it's led to other applications. We've done something for consumer tire. Again, not for the end consumer because, okay, very few. I, I, and I don't want to meet these people. Uh, <laughs> automotive customers who want to go out and download an app to learn about tires. It's well, mostly no, for... I, I have my father-in-law choose tires for me. Yeah, there he you go. He has an opinion I don't. So. There you go. So the average, <laughs> the average tire consumer uh, buys tires every three years, and from the time they discover that, hey, I need new tires, to the time that tires are on the car, is about a week. Um, it's not something they're going to do an app for. What our app is intended is, so when they go to their father-in-law, or they go to the person who's going to install their tires, because that's often the case who makes a decision, this is meant to help them sell the tire to the customer and show the differences and give them some, mm -hmm. some information to help them make that decision, because that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Um, so we did a commercial consumer, and we're starting to get a bit more niche -y. We're doing something for an iPad that's going to be displayed in, on the tire wall in, in retail stores, so it'll actually be mounted you know, nice. among the tires, and they can kind of... Yep. Yeah. Um, we did a little app called Go Akron, because they had an event that kind of showed off our new headquarters, and we've done some other things. So it's kind of a growing practice. We've got Road Ready, which is the mount and display at NASCAR races. Oh, that's, that's right. Cool. That's right. And so mobile application development has begun more mobile application development, and and cool. and Mark and Chad can can tell yeah. you the rest. Yeah, about two years ago, we got into. <laughs> We said, why not? We'll give it a shot. Yes. And we were looking, you know, we had heard about PhoneGap. We were looking at a few other alternatives. Uh, I forget the name, Titanium. Yeah. Um, and then Adobe bought PhoneGap, so, and we use Adobe products a lot. So we thought, you know what, we're going to go with PhoneGap. This yeah. going to be a choice. Um, and at that time, it was PhoneGap 1.0. Um, we also decided to go with jQuery Mobile. And at, at that time, it was jQuery Mobile 1.0. So we, we had some struggles early on. Just because the software was it was young, it was buggy, mm -hmm. um, and we had never built a lap, so it was it was a challenge. But you know, we kept at it. And we were able to uh, uh, create a commercial truck app, and I, it was accepted by Apple. We were really thrilled about that because we didn't think it would be. It would, you know, they had yeah. crashed. You know, we did everything we could to get rid of all the crashes, and it still crashed uh, occasionally. And we thought at Apple standards were so high <laughs> that they weren't going to release it. No, you but can, that no, you can tank Apple. <laughs> but that's not we the like case. To like the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apple definitely they miss things. I think they, <laughs> they, they, they have their checklist. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they put it in. Yeah. And we've released mm -hmm. Vamp where um, it was like a, a later version of the truck app. We added some open GLs mm -hmm. first First time we did that, and as soon as we released the store, we downloaded it. It, it, it crashed. It didn't right. work. Wow. And right. Then Apple didn't pick that up. Right. But the thing that we have had Apple don't out to reject our apps for some of the dumbest reasons, and and that don't out for example that they did a like the name of the app and stuff like that. <laughs> So it's oh, yeah. that's one of those things on there. Yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't work. It just has to be pulled, pulled up again. Right. So, um, so I'm going to show you some of the apps just to show you what we've done. Um, 
And we'll start with a, you know, just a really simple lab called Go Akron. And this was created to show off the new Goodyear building. Um, and the idea of this is just taking some really nice photographs of the building, putting them in an app, and just displaying some information about the areas of the building. So it's a very simple, specific purpose, which that's a good ad. Um, so there you go, there's our cafeteria area in the new headquarter building. Just takes you to, you know, this again, it's just a few photos, really nice photos, some information. Nice. Um, some really simple transitions. And here's a slide, which is kind of cool. And this is all JavaScript. Yeah. And still, these, the iPad 2 and on, um, the, the original iPad, the JavaScript the iPhone, the iPhone mm -hmm. 4, we would see that too. It's very sluggish. Once we got to the 4S and the iPad 2, it seems to perform okay. And it's just getting better. So, is it both as, 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 a, as an app and as a file app or you see a distinction? So, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See, so even the transitions, um, and I think that this will improve over time. So, yeah. it gets better as the, the JavaScript engines get better. I think even in iOS 7, we're seeing better Oh, yeah. Transitions oh, oh yeah. Better, there's yeah. much better transitions um, in iOS 7. But the hmm. native apps, and I'll show you something that it's a plugin we developed, which has a native transition that will show you the difference. So that's a very simple app, but you know, just it was a, a really easy app to put together. A couple yep. of weeks, get that one done. Um, we're going to. No, no, no. So this shows you a good mix of JavaScript, uh, animation, transitions, and then we'll do a. And these apps also we you know we sync we look for a new we have a what we call content management tool for putting new documents uh, out there that you can attach the tires or if a new tires released we go look for the, the images and the data right and pull it down so so we store we use a SQLite there's a SQLite database plugin for nice. storing data locally so that we use that um, so that they get it. so this is all just just really nice images so it looks good. And these are just, again, jQuery type plugins that we used to pop that up. And I'll show you now. I'll show you something I wouldn't recommend doing. But we go from the, um, we go from the HTML into OpenGL. Mm -hmm. So this is all, yeah, this is all OpenGL. So this is your, where the games run. Now when I touch the tire, you see the transition. See that? That's just a nice smooth. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Objective-C. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, so we, yeah, right we, had to, we had to write out a little Objective-C to go with the mm -hmm. C++, which is the OpenGL. Um, what's nice about the OpenGL, but again, I wouldn't recommend doing it, because it took a long time. It was really very costly for us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they just wanted something cool, and this is pretty cool. Yeah. But it does, you know, C++ and jump in GL on an Android device and other, other type of OS is so very important. Mm -hmm. So that's the OpenGL app. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the OpenGL app. 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 Yeah. We're starting at the HTML5 and then see if uh, you know we can improve the HTML5 version of the app for the for the devices and how 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 much mileage we can get. I mean, that's by just right now. It, the it side. performs nicely on the mm -hmm. on the tablet or phone. Um, yeah, it's not. Um, so there, there's a lot to be done to, uh, to make it more um, uh, more like a responsive website. Yeah, but uh, that, none of that's in place at this point. But you're, so you're looking to do a mobile web, website? Well, that's what's built. So Clue Mesh Parts built a mobile website, and then um, uh, this group is taking that and um, making it work for Summit, and then and then making it a native application. Oh, then making it a native yep. app. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, so you're using HTML5 or you're using yeah, jQuery Mobile? You are doing jQuery Mobile? jQuery Mobile, yep. 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 That does. 
And that's recommended. Like, I, I went to a Gartner conference, and here's another thing, just to let you know what you're selecting. Uh, Gartner's customers who do hybrid applications, mm -hmm. mostly use Snowcat. Mm -hmm. And they do recommend using something like Tinkbird Mobile, mm -hmm. just to help you with the different uh, browser. Yeah. Uh, JavaScript engines. Yeah, it was nice, because, you know, so, all right, we're only targeting iOS and, and uh, Android. And Android. Um, and uh, in fact, you can, we can go all the way back to iOS uh, uh, 4. <laughs> that's just because that's all I had at the time. Yeah. Um, so that's my testing environment. Drove the developer absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, you know what? We're a public agency. We've got to be able to reach devices that otherwise you might dismiss. Um, yeah. So, um, but sort of gratis, it works on Windows Phone and it works on the latest Blackberry. It's the latest Blackberry. Use so I was like, oh, cool. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and it's one of our challenges in the job, you know, so this is just testing. You know? Yeah. It, you, you only have so many devices, um, and we, we're looking at a service to help us mm -hmm. to test on uh, as many devices as we can. We haven't uh -huh. gotten there yet. Uh -huh. But we do have that, you know, we use. Android phone, John's <laughs> iPhone 5, I got a 4S, so it's more <laughs> yeah, that we use. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if I, you know, I, I'm just going to pass this one around. This is a, a, just again, very, very simple app that we did, and this really shows off that responsive design. Yeah. Um, so here's the iPhone 4S. And it's pretty simple. I call, I'll just bring up another page, um, so you can go home. Right. There's a uh, VR, a map. Okay. But but though now for the this would be the same app straight to be straight on an Android set. Right. Same image. Yeah. yeah. There's no you didn't package that with multiple images. It's just all jQuery mobile. You know it it is able to calculate to look fine. And then our developers mm -hmm. created a height function. Uh -huh. And then they use CSS to the scale, scale it. Scale. Yeah. One percent. Yeah. Um, and if, John's phone, if you should take John's, it would look. Sure. So this is a really good example. Um, and the, the our developers really did it. They did this one right, I think. Because um, it took them very little time to port it to. I can tell who has a 4G network. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> right. Mine's 2G. It's spread. <laughs> Mine's 3G, so. But usually it's 2G. Cool. So that's a really good example, and um, I think that one that was probably one of our best and most efficient apps. Yeah. Yeah. So that's very fast too. We'll show it to the camera yeah. here. And we didn't do any fancy transitions, and I, I don't know if you've seen that jQuery mobile. It's, transitions aren't, they're just not quite there yet. And there's a few that are decent. Yeah. Um, so on this one, it's just cool. really a fade and for the most part, maybe nothing, and so it ported to Android. Oh, nice. Are really terrible. Have you guys done any sliders? Just native. Um, edge type. A slider? You mean like slide out? Uh, more like um, uh, 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 Okay. Cool. Anybody else need the uh, You know, uh, okay. Thank you. You know, we've got jQuery Mobile just built one of the, something similar to that in. Oh. And we, um, we're starting, just starting to use it. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's not a common much. thing. Just, yeah, you know, we don't have anything like that in our app. But, but, but yeah, we've got that, which is nice. Yeah, so that's kind of a, a sliding type thing. Oh. Uh. Actually, I guess I guess really it's not any. Yeah, it's got the edge, but yeah. Anyway, sorry. And when you get into the hybrid, it looks nice. You can use your, you want to use these light air high quality photos. Yeah, because they really show them off. Yeah. So. Oh jeez. That's not bad. This might take a while. Oops. Uh, that always. It's always when you don't want it. I know, I know. 
so you can play our class. It knows that, it you, that you're on Wi-Fi, so it takes the liberty of <laughs> updating. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you have a... You're at home now. Okay. I see you're on the Edge network. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm going to update. <laughs> yeah. right, so, since our app works offline, ah. turn Wi-Fi off. Nice. Bam. There, so there you go. go. So this is kind of a cool app because we did we did a little slideshow game. Yeah. Mm. And these are just really nice images. And yeah. You just take advantage of the iPad. And that's it. And these are, and since these are really nice images, they're, you know, they're a few made in size at least. Um, so if you're going out on the website, you take time to drag that down. Yep. Um, you can move. Like here's, uh, can't do it. But there you go, there's a nice, really nice quality image. Um, I guess the idea would be that you would do it once on the network and then you can stay offline. Yeah, you can drag it down and, yeah. and uh, use local storage. Yep. Our, our original marching orders is like, I want to be able to sell a uh, guy's giant truck tires in a mine a mile deep. <laughs> nice. So we put video on the whole nine yards in there, and it was a 1.2 gigabyte download. Download. Mm -hmm. um, not, but, but on out Pro, that would be something that we would not recommend. <laughs> yeah. Well, it serves a purpose. Absolutely. Yeah. Salesperson yeah. app, they want to instead of having boxes right. and stuff in their trunk, uh, right. they have it all here on an iPad. Yeah, it's different than a public app. Yeah. 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 Right. It's a different use case. It's, right. It just depends on what you're doing. And the people who get that get that, and the people who don't. Just don't? Just don't. Yeah. But anyway, I, uh, here's another plugin we did. Um, mm -hmm. So we could show these brochures. Uh, you know, there's no oh, phone wow. app. Cool. There's no way to print stuff. Yeah. So we somebody to do a objective CD print plugin, nice. print email, you know, open it in. Nice. So then you got yeah, you got these really nice brochures. So that's what's good about storing this stuff, you know, locally is you can have really high quality brochures too. These are kind of in, in between because we didn't want the app yeah, to get too big. Yeah. So that's somewhere in the, in the middle of really high to what's usually on the website. Um, so yeah, that that was a make or break deal. Deal right there. And we we hired the guy we hired. HP wanted to they want to do more development with us. This is the guy who invented the air print. Hmm. He he did the development for us. Uh huh. So and he said, ah, it's trivial. Didn't <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's at all. Well, after uh, three weeks later, later bank, yeah. it's, 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 the wall. <laughs> it's just a little, you know, just getting out of the HTML into. This plugins and yeah. it's native and then back out. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, it was more challenging than what you thought. Um, and just uh, that's a great story though. I mean, I think you know somebody should do a piece on the on that just that part of his work, the the plugin developer. You know, like yeah. How yeah. how was that experience for him on the app on the iOS stack would, and then versus you know Windows Phone or Android? So he could adapt it for all three. I mean, you know. If he's done it for once, one platform, you know. Definitely. And he was his background. He was more. He's a native application developer. A native programmer. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, he's an architect for HP. Right. When he did programming, was more native. So this was it's, okay. it frustrated them just because you're moving from <laughs> yeah. um, an environment you're not familiar with into what you're familiar with. It's just that that integration. Yeah. And that when we did the OpenGL, that was our best part. Is how how to get into that and then back. Yeah. Um, and that that took some time. So it's not it's not you're not using WebGL, you're using OpenGL, it's in uh, uh, C plus uh, C plus but, plus. But, but for now for the this is OpenGL, but it's not true true OpenGL. <laughs> but it's a version of OpenGL that's for mobile. So oh. they made a special mobile OpenGL that's done in C++. Plus, plus though, oh now the cool thing about it is that it, it, it's done in C++, but the, the, that it is possible for both Apple and Android devices to run it. Nice. So it's still the idea of that we coded it once and it was done. Yeah. Nice. Which is the beauty of one gap to begin with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
which is truly not the one of one's deployment. There is some work that needs to take place. Yes. There, to deploy the different between the different platforms. Yeah. Not a ton. Yeah. 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 You want to stick with. If you go out there, you know, there are more and more plugins are being made right. available. Like we're going to look at one for uh, push notification. Right. There's a company that does it. They developed PhoneGap plugins for iOS and Android. Um, so they're out there. Those are the ones you really want to use. When you start developing them yourself, that's what it looks like. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's something again. It's just here's a number of images. This is nothing but JavaScript. And the high quality images. And, and just in your drag this, you can see the tread. It's just a tread layer to it. And it's pretty smooth. You know, you look at that. It's an iPad 2. Uh, it's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can do. You can do quite a bit. It's, it's definitely improved. It's just over the last two years. It's, it's yeah, mad. come a long way. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah, it was really a struggle. How does that show up on a phone? Um, not bad. Not bad? It's, no, it's not too bad. It's The image is not like it's good. Mm. Do you have it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but don't know that I've got it too. Mm. Oh, yeah. You want to show them the dealer, the dealer locator? Yeah, I think I don't think I have the truck I don't have the truck I have on here. Well, I have an hey, 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 but though now, but I've got the truck on mine too. Yeah, here you go. It's buggy because it's seven. But. Oh, you know, oh yeah, that's I was seven one. Hmm. Yeah, that's been a fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got Xcode 5, which is in beta, mm -hmm. iOS 7 beta, trying to figure out what is your problem. Right. And what's <laughs> and the no problem with which, which problems will stay and which problems will go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll, uh, Whoa. Yeah, so you see how that, just that transition right there is, it's better. Right, yeah. Uh, take you up that way. Uh, and there's the one the, there on the blue. But the don't have yeah. that update goes away from Oh, it does? Yeah, it should. It should. Because, it sh well, it's going to go quick. Not everybody's uh, doing it. Uh, Patience. Every time, you, every time you stop. Nobody watch it. Yeah, yeah. Just look <laughs> yeah nobody watch it. Everybody no, no, it. it's going slow and snot. But it went quick straight in the office. Well. I'd say that's the office, but you know what? Wi-Fi office isn't all that fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.